Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna start with the new course about Firebase and Flutter. Uh, this video, all information in this video will be updated according to the last uh, updates and last version of both Firebase and Flutter. Uh, so we'll start this video, the first video with how to make connection between Flutter and Firebase and we're gonna work with the Firebase CLI or just working with the command line called Firebase Tools. So let's start with that uh, step by step. So first thing I have created a new uh, Flutter application. We need to go to the command line CMD. So as you can see, we don't need to go to the Firebase to do anything. Just from everything will be from command line. So now in the command line, you can work anywhere, but I prefer to go to my application. So I mean the path of my application. This, yes, so just copy this and I can just open it now I am in the location of my application so first thing we need to use npm to install the flutter CLIs or CLI so first thing we need to uh, go to the internet and try to find the uh, npm so to work with the npm we need to use uh, node.js so just go to the node.js install yes here go to the download here windows installer and as you can see it will here I already have it so I don't need anything so you need just to install that step by step it will be very simple after that you need to close and reopen the command line and you need just to test npm and just say v to check the version so this is the last version 9.5.0 then I need to install the Firebase CLI so here I will use npm install here g and then the name of the package firebase firebase tools that's it after that also we need to restart again close and open the command line to work with the flutter or flutter file so first thing we need to like add it in the activated activated the uh, the firebase cli start pub global activate Flutter Fire CLI. We need just to activate it publicly in the environment. So just enter. I now we finish. We can now use the Fire Base command. And here I could check the version. So we need to check if it is working. You need just to close and open. Now, yes, it is working without any problem. CLS, I will delete everything. Close. Now I need to log into the Firebase. Of course, you need to have Gmail account and simply you can log in in the Firebase account because Firebase is belong to the Google. So if you have Google account, that's it. So now just right here, Firebase login. That's it. Now we'll navigate you to the here. Just say yes to allow. Now that's it. Now, which account you want to use? So, of course, simply any account I can use here. For example, I need to use this account or this account or this account. So, I'll prefer use this account, my account here. Then, just say yes, allow. That's it. Firebase login successfully. So, now I don't need this. Close. And return back to the command line or terminal. Log it into my account. Right? Flutter. Now, I've created the Flutter project and we are in the path for a flutter project then now we can create a firebase project so here simply we need to use a flutter or i will cls to delete everything fire and then configure that's it so now fetching available file so we'll fetch all the project maybe you can you have already uh, you already have a project in the uh, in the firebase you created but if you need to create by command line also you can so i have already I already have many projects but for example I need to create a new so just just go here by the keyboard and then press enter to the create a new project now add here the unique name for the project or unit ID for the project so for example I will name it like uh, fire you cannot add uh, underscore for example so you can make it like this and enter now creating a new firebase project now here which platform you want to support so for example by default android and ios you can just go here for example i need also just uh, press uh, space here now i make it also for the 
web as well and then enter now we'll create the project for android we have we'll create three projects now in the firebase one for android one for ios and the third one for the web finish now here also give you like uh, id for each application web android and ios and now if we go to our application flutter application what we can see in the library we have a new file which is firebase options you can see here all the configuration here so now we need you can see here we have error because uh, firebase core package uh, doesn't install it so we need to go to install it also so here in the command line i can just say flutter pub add core this package just you need to add it finish just say flutter pub get to install it now that's it now if we return back to the flutter application you can see there is no error there is no problem everything is working without any problem now we need to now until now we finish that but we need to make some configuration the important configuration in the uh, android because you will encounter many problems if you don't make it first thing we need to go to the android app and then build the gradle here we need to add here the main sdk just delete this and make it 19 because it's supported at least 19 also we need to add here multi text enabled this is also important to make it true you can read about multi text enabled but this is very important to make it here and then we need to add a package here implement a package you can find that in the internet but i will just write it dex here you can see multi dex 1.3 that's it now i finish the configuration now the final step is just go to the main dot dart we can here delete everything we need to import two things first thing i will import material app or three things material app also i need to import the firebase option which is this file here firebase option we need it and also import firebase core firebase core we need that then void main in the main we need to make it a sync like this we need here to initialize the flutter widget so here widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized so we need to ensure we will boot or load load or the framework before uh, working with the uh, flutter or widget so we need to initialize it before after that we can also initialize firebase then firebase dot initialize app inside it from option we will get here options firebase options current platform so whatever the platform we don't care just current the platform android ios web or whatever that's it now you can just check if it is run without any problem which means it is you are, now you are connected with the firebase if you see any problem which means there is a problem now of course you cannot find anything cannot see anything but now we just make a connection between firebase and the flutter and also if we go to the firebase if you just go to the console here remember we used the uh, osama this email so you should go to the same email and i have create a project by the command line called fire youtube project so you can see it here you don't need to create it by yourself as you can see we have three application android ios and also we have web application so here if it is running without any problem which means congratulation you have connect uh, your flutter application with the firebase in the next video, we will start with authentication using uh, Firebase UI. It will be very simple to create a full authentication system. It, there is no problem. It is just running. But of course, you cannot find anything because we didn't start yet. So, hope you understand that and thank you very much.